Hello, beautiful people. My name's Kristen. Thank you for tuning in, joining me today for a little Irish love. And um, I don't have any heritage from Ireland that I'm aware of, but I don't care. I still love all things Ireland. So, or Irish, I guess. So this is Irish at Heart. It is a monthly subscription box. It's $44.95 and then $10 shipping to actually ship over from Ireland. There's custom forms and everything on the package. So when you open it up, it's all green, just like the landscape, land side there. Last time, this is a replacement box. So May got lost in the mail due to the shipping issues. Um, this smells minty. It smells really good. <laughs> and anyway, it was lost in the mail and the theme of this box is Irish tea time and who doesn't like a good cup of tea? So I'm pretty excited about it. So this is probably information about what's in the box and interesting little facts and all that kind of good stuff. So, oh, it says Irish music. Irish music is the theme for July, so I'm wondering if this is my July box and not the May box. Interesting. Well, I definitely, I'll be sad if I don't get the tea box, but hopefully they're gonna replace it by adding on to my subscription. <laughs> so I'll have to check with that. But this is all about Irish music. Talks about in, um, Irish instruments and all these kind of Gaelic and Celtic terms. So let's check into the box. There's all kinds of little goodies. So first up, I've got a little bag with a, is this a violin? Violin. Thought maybe it was a guitar at first. It's a magnet on this side and then it's a bottle opener and then it's a pretty enameled violin so you can pop it right onto your refrigerator use it to hold your coupon that, or shopping list and um, then open your bottle with it that's pretty cute I'll have to um, unfiddle the fiddle and the Mary Love the Fiddle and the Mary Love to Dance. W. B. Yates. I like it. Speaking of fiddles, y'all know what I'm going to say. Charlie Daniels. Beautiful legacy, right? We lost, we lost a good legacy. And what was it the quote? Someone said that now he's playing his fiddle in heaven because he beat the devil once and for all. <laughs> I thought that was so cute. All right. So here's Soap Company. I went, oh, I'm, I'm thinking this is what made the paper smell so good. It's like a mint eucalyptus. That's exactly what it is. Garden mint and eucalyptus. Handmade soap of Ireland. It's good. Really good. And this is mint body moisturizer. It's like a little tin. Ooh. It's got, wow, this is cute. It's like a, sorry, it's laying out. It's like a little white chocolate, but it's, it's, um, it's like, it's almost like a really soft, almost pliable soap. This would be good if you're like super, super dry. This is like intense moisture balm. Also from the soap company, same company as the soap. So soap and then moisturizer. And some... This is a fiddle postcard. Sorry about my nails. Been working outside in the yard and haven't fixed them yet. 
the town I love so well, Filter. I have to read this. It's like one of those kind of um, maze, labyrinth. They're postcards. Very cute. And then a box. I'm hoping this is CDs and music if it's the music one, but maybe there's a way to download the music. It would be sad to have a music box with no actual music. But here's a little muslin bag. Oh no, doesn't feel like music. I know most people don't do CDs anymore. I know it's downloads and MP3s, but I've got a CD player and I still appreciate playing <laughs> CDs. Oh, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be an actual ornament. On Clarisuff, like heart. All music is sweet until the heart. Until the heart? Hmm. All music is sweet until the heart. But that's pretty cute. I like all the Celtic work. I mean, Celtic music without a harp is not as Celtic music, right? <laughs> that's very interesting. All right, let me stop and read the paperwork and then I will share the tidbits. Okay, so it is definitely the July box and that is cool. It came very quickly. So all about music and there is a playlist on Spotify. I have not actually used Spotify, so I will check into that to see. I don't know if that costs money or not, but um, if it's just a free link, I will add it below. And there is also a little cute trivia synopsis here I will share with you real quick. It says the Irish harp or Celtic harp is more than the national symbol of Ireland and her people. This ancient instrument, it's enchantingly beautiful music is an example of Ireland's deeply rooted musical tradition. The harp is strongly associated with Brian Burrow, one of the greatest high kings of Ireland. He was a cultured warrior and a harp player. It's like Mel Gibson, Braveheart playing the harp too. It's like, that sounds awesome. <laughs> Today, the Brian Burrow harp is on display in the long hall of Trinity College. For many years, the harp was the instrument of choice for entertaining high society chieftains and nobles, but in the early 17th century, under the threat of invasion, the chieftains fled Ireland. As the status of harping declined, the art form was left to traveling harpists. The most famous was Turlo O'Carolan, who was blind from birth. At once a poet, musician, and composer, he's considered Ireland's national composer. And then there's a YouTube link to some of his work, so I will definitely list that below because I know if you're watching this you're on YouTube so we can enjoy a little harp music together so this is meant to be hung on the wall so I don't know that I have an appropriate place to hang this but um, I think it's beautiful and I will definitely probably what I'm probably gonna do is hang it in my office with my special mementos from travel so I'm probably going to just use it as a travel memento and hang it with all my other souvenirs that I appreciate looking at from around the world and travels. And then I'm probably actually going to use these postcards. Um, I like sending funsy little things and so these will actually get used as postcards. And the moisturizer and soap, I mean very practical and definitely delicious. And then I will, I don't know, I may think about gifting this too. I mean, it's not like I don't have two or three cute bottle openers, but I don't know. We'll see. I, I, know, I know quite a few really brilliant musicians, so it could also make a really good gift. So that is my July box. And there was a note that said that I was to receive a replacement May box. So I'm excited and hopeful that I'm still going to get my tea. So stay tuned if you like it. Um, this one, subscribe so you can see when the next one gets here. Have an awesome day.